the 2013 Labor Day Weekend World Stock Car Festival. About to see the green for the final race of the weekend. The Coughlin car, CRA pace truck, ready to drop pit side. Green coming up for the street stocks of the Stealth Trailer, CRA Street Stock Division. Coming to green off of turn number four, here we go. Oh, and Kirby up the banking on the number 30 car, slams the door shut. Ross up along the wall in one and two. Back in the field, some shuffling, some two, some almost three wide racing, but we're clean and green to three. Leading is Kirby, Burgess second, third, the 30 of Ross, and fourth is Atkins in the 73. Three wide, just out of the top five. Will that work? Not for long. Parham checks up, drops in the line. Now he gets back to the inside. Jim Crabtree Jr. has to check up. Nearly spun it in two. Lap two complete for Jimmy Kirby, the leader. Kirby with a two-car length lead on the exit of turn two. Goes to the bottom, cars sideways many a times in the street stock division through the turn just so they can get him to rotate, keep their momentum up to the pits. A.J. Reidner, the 96. Problems for Reidner. The 30 of Ross up to speed. I think Hadley in the 12 may have gotten into the backstretch wall a little bit, but keeps on rolling. And Atkinson in the bottom lane. Jason Atkinson, the 73 for third. Thompson also starting to move forward. The top qualifier started 10th on the bottom lane. He's going for six. Thompson already picking up four spots. Field stacking up at the front of the pack. 10 cars right up front. Thompson now going after Jeff Lane. A little bit of contact in one and two. Thompson then gets off and makes some more contact. Thompson nearly spins it. Lane then drops off the pace. Losing spots on the bottom, both Lane and Thompson, two of our faster qualifiers. Jeff Lane now rolls it way down. So Jeff Lane with some issues. Don't know that it had anything to do with the contact. All the tires are up. On the inside, the 30 of Brian Ross. Ross side by side with Dustin Birch for the number two spot, Brian Ross. That car picking up the pace now after a sluggish start when Kirby closed the door on him. Single file now, the top four of Brian Ross. They're looking to get a double today. Jason Thompson racing with Jim Crabtree Jr. That battle is over. Thompson back up to seventh. That's where he was before a little bit of contact with Jeff Lane when he checked up, nearly spun the car, and lost a couple of spots. Side by side with Thompson, the 28. And the 12 of Hadley Thompson, so loose, dirt tracking it through the corner, hangs on to it. But Hadley still holds him off. Now trouble in turn one, look out. Thompson not laying off of the 12 of Hadley. And around goes Hadley in the 12. Contact between Jason Thompson, the 28, and Hadley in the 12. Fortunately, no severe damage to any of our cars on that mishap heading into the first corner. Hogling cars, pace truck, pulling pit side. Field has taken double wide formation. Swung caution early on in the stealth trailers. CRA street stock, 40 lapper, 14 in, 26 to go. Green for Kirby, green for Ross. Ross the leader, retakes his lead as he pulls out front. Parham looking for an opening, the opening wasn't there. Contact between Atkinson and Kirby, heading to three. Kirby on the bottom lane, gonna try to get back to the top off of four. He does, right in front of Atkinson. Kerr's caught on the bottom. 
Around goes the 29 car of Mason Keller. Mason Keller, the Indianapolis driver, around in turn number four. Fifteen in, twenty-five to go. Ross so far controlling this one. Off the corner. Green is out. Ross in the outside lane. Goes back into the lead. Here comes Parham along with him, the 33 of Calvin Parham. Fourth quick in qualifying this weekend. He's all over Ross. Kirby a much better run on the inside, but too much power from that 30 of Ross. Parham to the outside of Kirby. Top qualifier Jason Thompson is in third now. Just able to clear the 11 of Kirby as he goes down into the first corner. car looks like it's really freeing up he gets up almost into the wall on the back stretch but continues on closing again on Parham he's moved his lane up about as high as you can go Thompson looks low in turn three Parham with the momentum holds him off for that second position. Again to the low side of Parham. No can do. 14 laps to go. 14 to go this time as the battle for second heats up. Looks like he might get him this time. Thompson does take over second. Jimmy Kirby now. Looks for third. 13 laps to go. Can Thompson catch the leader, Brian Ross? Boy, Colby Lane in the 44 just about lost it over in four. Thompson second, third, Parham, fourth, Kirby, fifth, Bird, sixth, Atkinson, seventh, Crabtree, eighth, Marsh, ninth, Lane, and tenth is Muffley, eleventh, Miles, twelfth, Schaefer, battle for thirteenth now as Hadley and Albright go at it. Fifteenth, Myers. Ten laps to go. Final 10 laps for Brian Ross and Jason Thompson. Rich Segvich laboring today the street stock and looks like he's going to call it a weekend pulling off on lap 32.
35 down, 35 down, five to go this time for Brian Ross. Trouble, big contact for Carl Muffley in the nine. Carl Muffley in the number nine with heavy contact on the rear of that car. He and Hadley got tangled up in the 12. Thompson inside, started this race in 10th. He was the top qualifier this weekend. Ross in the 30 on the outside. Field taking it to three. They're coming to four. They're coming to the green. Who's going to win the stealth trailer? CRA Street Stock, Winchester 40. Ross, a pretty good restart in the outside lane. Thompson going to give it a try on the bottom. Thompson on the inside. Can't make it work. Goes back. Follows the 30 of Ross down the straightaway. The 30 of Ross. Plenty of power. And Thompson giving it all he can, just about looped it coming off the board. And Brian Ross checking out. Already out to a six car length advantage. Drops down to three or four in corners, three and four. And now it's three to go. Off the pace, Kobe Lane in the number 44. Two laps to go. White flag for the number 30. of Brian Ross. The Bobby Blunt Racing car number 30, driver from Plymouth, Indiana, the veteran Brian Ross wins his second event of the day. Jason Thompson second, Calvin Parham third, fourth, Jimmy Kirby fifth. Jason Atkinson, Dustin Virgin, sixth, seventh, Tyler Marsh, eighth, Jim Crabtree, Jr., ninth, Brett Miles, Jr., and tenth, the 35 of Josh Myers. Get a word with our winner for a second time today. Brian Ross brings it to victory lane.